everybody once again it's aaron woodson aka old legend what we're doing today is lower ball joints upper ball joints complete steering center link idler arm tie rods um qa1 coilover what we're doing here different is a front disc brake conversion this is a 68 oldsmobile 88 the customer asked not to show the car he doesn't want he doesn't want his car shown um, it's an older gentleman. To him, what we're doing is no big deal. And he just feels like it's everyday order operation. So he doesn't want this car shown. So I won't show the car. But what we're going to do is a front disc brake conversion done by Scareberg brake parts. What they sell you is a hub, the brackets, and um, they they refer you to cal the calipers are by. The calipers and rotors come off of, a, I believe, a 76 Eldorado. I have all of those parts. That's the old drum there. Right now I'm installing the ball joints and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the spindle back on it, put the coilover in, and then um, put the coilover in, put the spindle on it. Then I will add the, the brakes. But uh, this here is a 68 Oldsmobile, typically not able to get front disc brake conversions. Some of these cars came with it. It was very rare and um, they're highly sought after if they're, if they're found. A lot of guys don't like the aftermarket stuff, but it's, uh, uh, now it's about the only way you can go. The last front disc brake conversion I had for one of these cars, I sold it for $800. That was a um, spindle, rotor, caliper, pads, of course. And the, the bad part about that, you can't buy the rotors anymore. So if your rotors go bad, your rotors are just bad. But once again, it's a 68 Oldsmobile. This suspension and steering is the same from 1965 to 1970 on the Oldsmobile. So this uh, covers a lot of full-size Oldsmobile, full-size only. Um, after I get the, the hub and things on here, we'll get some more footage. Here we are back on the 68 Oldsmobile Delta 88 with the Scarebird brake conversion, front disc brake conversion. It comes with the uh, hub bearings and seals and brackets. They then direct you to where you can buy the calipers, rotors, and pads, which are all from, I believe, a 76 Cadillac Eldorado uh, and brake hoses. But here it is, a nice disc brake conversion for the money for these cars. Um, and also, like I said, we added the QA1 coilover suspension now I'm going to do the center link, idle arm, inner and outer tie rods, and move on to the back and do a rear disc brake conversion on it. Real nice setup. So this is probably, I want to say, about the only way you could go as far as uh, achieving a front disc brake kit. On a 65 to 1970, Oldsmobile full size, Delta 8898, uh, probably Dynamic, Jetstar, all of the big olds. 